While you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. There you go, my brother and sister across the street. Jesus Christ is a black man. This is important information you gotta teach the children. They taking black history out of the school. Why? To destroy our children. Right. There is an attack on our children. Christ color matter. That's right. Contrary to what they say in the Christian church. Give me John chapter 7, verse 38. I know you got some all day. Christ's color matter. Right. It's time for us to wake up. We got to wake up and learn the truth. That's right. The truth about what? Who Christ is. My brothers, my sisters going into the African fest. Surely Jesus Christ is important. So the question again, who was Christ? What's his color? Does his color matter? Because we talk about pastors in the church, that color does not matter. Let's see what the Bible says. What does the Bible say? Read. John chapter 7, verse 38. Uh -huh. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, he that believeth on him as the scripture has said. What does the Bible say Christ look like? Does the Bible say Christ look like a Caucasian man? Right, no. That's the question that we asking today. No. On Cottage Grove, who was Christ and does his color matter? The Bible says it matters. That's right. Because he said he that believeth on me as the scripture has said. Give me Revelation 1 and 14. Bring it out. Jesus Christ color matters. My brothers and sisters going in the African fest. Come learn the truth. Five minutes of your time. Five minutes, we gonna show you valuable information that you can go on about your way. Read. Revelation chapter one and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hair. Were white like wool. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Again, are we gonna listen to man or are we gonna listen to God? It said Jesus Christ color. It said his hair and his hair were white and woolly. Who has white and woolly hair? My brother in the car in the van. What kind of hair does Jesus Christ? Have. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says Jesus Christ's hair was white and woolly. What is that showing you? Jesus Christ has the hair of a black man, so he is black. That's right. Black no. people are the only people on the face of this earth with woolly hair. Jesus Christ is a black man. His color matters. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. Jesus Christ's head and his hair were white and woolly. Read. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was a flame of fire because he drunk wine. My brother and sister across the street, come over. This is very important information. Very important. Read. And his feet like a fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. There you go. My brother and sister across the street. Jesus Christ is a black man. This is important information you got to teach the children. They taking black history out of the school. Why? To destroy our children. Right. There is an attack on our children. Right. Read. And Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, uh -huh. and his feet like unto fine grass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. As what? As it burned in a furnace. If you burn anything inside of a furnace, it becomes dark. That's right. That's telling you what? Jesus Christ is a black man. That's, That's right. right. So when we go back, go back to John 738. When we
we go back to John 7, 38, where Jesus Christ is speaking, what is it saying to us? What is the scripture saying to us about Jesus Christ appearing? Read John chapter 7, verse 38. Bring it up. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. He said, he that believes on him, as the scripture has said, as the scripture has said, Jesus Christ color, his appearance matter. That's Stop right. letting people lie to you. Right. Jesus Christ was a black man, he is a black man. Right. You know, he is not that white image that they have told us for years. You know about your history, did you know you were an Israelite man? The Bible is talking about us. So that's what we getting to. The Bible is talking about us. Right. So if Jesus Christ is a black man, what color is God? Bring it out. Jesus Christ just said, believe on him as the scripture has said. Not as passion of the Christ said, not as son of God the movie said. Right. It said as the scripture has said. Bring the it. scripture tells you Jesus Christ is a black man. Read. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 11. Uh -huh. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Stop. In Christianity, they say that Jesus Christ came for everybody. My question I'm posing on Cottage Grove, prove that statement. Prove that statement that Jesus Christ came for everybody. Right. The Bible does not say that. Right. Read it again. Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. Uh -huh. For the Son of Man is come to save which was lost. He came to save who? Which was lost. It said Jesus Christ came to save that which was lost. Bring it out. In Christianity, they take this verse and they twist it and turn it any way they want to. Before we get into it, name me a people that's lost. All races of people are not lost. The only race of people that are lost are the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's, That's right. right. We don't know where we come from. Right. We don't know who we are. Right. We don't know who our God is. Right. We are trying to follow the other races of people. We the only ones that's lost. Teach up. Now, let's clear up the confusion. The scripture said, Christ came to save that which was lost. Who is that? Matthew 15, 24. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Bible said that Jesus Christ only came for the Israelites. That's right. He didn't come for everybody. I'm sorry. They've been lying to you in church. They've been lying to us in church. Jesus Christ did not die for everybody and he did not come for everybody. Right. Jesus Christ did not come for the whole world. Right. He only came for the Israelites. Bring it out. And we can prove that with the Bible. It's time for us to wake up and stop listening to lies. Read it again. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's out of the Bible. Right. It just told us who Jesus Christ came for. That's right. He only came for the Israelites. Bring it out. So now that we set the stage and we understand that Jesus Christ only came for the Israelites, you got to figure out who the Israelites are. So who are the Israelites? Is the Israelites really the people that live in Tel Aviv? Is the Israelites all nations? Is the Israelites disappear? No. Who are the Israelites? Because Jesus Christ only came for the Israelites. So knowing that, you got to figure out who the Israelites are. Bring it out. Because when you read the Bible, the Bible says the Israelites are special. Right. The Bible says the Israelites are God's people. That's right. So me looking on the outside, I want to figure out if I'm that people. Because the Israelites is the only people God loves. Right. From there, let me do Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The now Lord. again, here we go. 
The Bible keeps talking about the Israelites. The Israelites being special. The Israelites being holy. So it'll make you wonder, who is these people? If these people got a connection with God, I got to see if that's me. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto Most himself. Sir, I want to give you this flyer. It's free. All right. I do want to tell you this. The Bible that we always known about that's talking about us. We are the Israelites that the Bible's talking about. That's We're right. The same people Moses walked out of Egypt. That's you. The Bible is our history book. That's our history book. You want to find out who you are, where you going, you got to come back to the Bible. Right. Right. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Bible says the Israelites are a holy people. When you're holy, you're set apart. When you're holy, you're not meant to be like everybody else. Right. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God chose us to be a special people unto himself. So black man, Hispanic man, you are special. That's right. the brother on the bike. Take this flyer, bro. You special according to the Bible. If ain't nobody tell you that, you special. I know the world say we criminals. The That's world right. say we thugs. The right. world say we ain't nothing. Right. The Bible says otherwise. Bring it up. You are God's chosen people. Right. Read. Above all people. That right. the Bible just say? Above all people. My sister in the security car. The Bible says that you are above all races of people. Right. That sounds racist, don't it? God says that. Read it again. Above all people. The Bible says that the Israelites are above all races of people. Right. That's a separation. That's a separation. Teach. God said we above all races. Right. But you got to ask yourself, what happened? Read. They are upon the face of the earth. So, now the question is, how do we know we the Israelites? How do we know we are the Israelites? How do we know? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. My brother in the car, the same Bible that you always seen throughout childhood, that's talking about you. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. You are God's chosen people. Right. It's time for us to wake up. That's what we proving out here today. You hear us saying that you Israel, but now we going to proof. Read. And, the, and that shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So it said, they shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. What is the they that is talking about? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Bring it on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It says, and they shall be upon thee. How y'all doing today? Let me share some flyers with y'all. It's about black history. We at the African Fest, right? I want to at least share this with y'all. If y'all don't mind, sisters, I got to give it to the men first out of respect. So what we talking about today, we talking about us being the Israelites in the Bible, we proving that right now. The Bible is talking about us. It's our history book. Real quick, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, for they go. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Would you believe that us getting put on slave ships is in the Bible? I want to at least show you that before you walk away. Real quick, read Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee unto Egypt again with ships. By now, the way, if you know any history about Israel, when the Israelites first left Egypt, they walked out. He said he's going to bring them back to Egypt on what? On the boat. Egypt means slave. Really? He said, uh, on Egypt, bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, if you know the history in the Bible, the Israelites walked 
out of Egypt. Why do they need a boat to go back to where they walk from? Right. Because Moses was saying something deeper. Right. He was he saw something down the line in the future. He saw the Israelites going into slavery on a boat. Right. Right. With ships. Uh -huh. By the way, where I spake unto thee. If y'all come over here, y'all read these signs. You look at the images we have on the flyer. We are the only group of people that went into slavery on slave ships. Right. Everything that first just said, we fit it to the T. Right. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh-huh. And there. You shall be sold. What uh, happened? You shall be sold. So after we got off the boat, after we got off the boat, when no ships came here in 1619, when we got off the boat, what they do to us? And you shall be sold unto your enemies. Guess what? When we were sold in slavery, you did not get sold to your friends. Right. You were sold to your enemies. Bring it out. Right. And be sold unto your enemy for buying men and buying women. That's how you know the Bible, a true book. How did history, a lot, how did that happen in history, line by line? That's my question to you today, brothers and sisters. The Bible just says something will happen in the future, and then it happened line by line by line. Right. The same way Moses said it, that's how it happened to us. Read on. And no man shall fight. And no man was able to save us. No man was able to redeem us. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. Read that again. Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. And they shall oh, be. Oh, what are we doing, brothers and sisters? We showing you what? That the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign, and a, for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. What is the thing that Moses is saying is going to be on us forever? Go back to 15 one more time. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the day that we read about in that verse is the curses of disobedience. Let me make that plain for us today. The day that you read here in Deuteronomy 28 verse 46, is the curses for disobedience. Meaning what? God allows some things to happen to us because we did not listen to him. Right. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 